The president loves saying things like, you know, there's a drug we've got. It's very effective. It's approved already. Everybody's going to get it. He loves saying things like that because that would be a lovely thing to be able to tell people. Unless, of course, that's not true, in which case telling people a fairy tale like that is cruel. Um, President Trump today, again, just flat out wrong in public um, about this malaria drug that has gotten stuck in his mind quite some distance from the facts, quite some distance from the facts. What, but what you're saying is you're prescribing it and it is working for COVID-19 patients. Every patient I prescribed it to has been very, very ill. And within eight to 12 hours, they were basically symptom free. That's not true. In and uh, hydroxychloroquine uh, is an important uh, weapon in our arsenal. That's not true. And, and right away, I had a huge improvement within a few hours. The gasping for air stopped. A lot of my symptoms went away. And pretty much it was a, really a turning point, almost 180 degree turn. That's not true. And, and the data that we have so far is positive on this. The FDA has now approved its use in hospitalized patients. That's not true. And, and here's what I consider to be the secret weapon, hydroxychloroquine. This is a common anti-malarial drug that has been used with great success in Korea in their fight against the coronavirus. And yes, this is the drug that the president mentioned the other day. That's not true. In State Representative Karen Witsit found out she had the virus the day her friend and colleague Isaac Robinson died from it. She has underlying health issues and was going downhill fast. And I thank God that the president of the United States mentioned that drug because it did save me. That drug is hydroxychloroquine. Which That's not true. And Absolutely. I think that the hydroxychloroquine and the, and the z pack definitely saved my life. That's not true. And I mean, I'm, I'm laying in, in the bed in the hospital. I'm watching President Trump say this is this is possibly can work. Pushing this drug. He's got to stop. He's not he's not. We don't want a drug pusher for president. And I'm living proof. I'm on a TV right now with you telling people in America this drug works. So if there's someone in a hospital, pick up your buzzer, buzz your nurse and tell them you want that drug. If they tell you no, pick it up and buzz it again because it works. I'm a firm believer of it. That's not true. And to me, there was no doubt in my mind that I wouldn't make it till morning. So to me, the drug saved my life. 52-year-old Rio Giordaneri has been isolated in the ICU at Joe DiMaggio Hospital in South Florida with COVID-19. On oxygen, but still unable to breathe. Friday evening, he says he was on his deathbed. Doctors told him there was really nothing more they could do. I was at the point where I was barely able to speak and breathing was very challenging. I, I really thought my end was there. I'd been through nine days of solid pain um, and it just, it, for me, it was the end was there. So I've made some calls to, uh, but my, you know, say my, in my own way, goodbye to my friends and family. That's not true. 